In this video, I'm just going to be showing how to import STLs or OBJs into Fusion 360. So to start with, you click up here, you go to Upload Files, where you have all your files. Then you hit Select File to Upload. Then in my case, I'm going to upload this pulley. And here it's an STL, but OBJs also work. Just going to hit Upload. There, now it's complete. So I'm just going to close that. Double click on this. Now when it loads, you can't really do anything with it. It's just kind of there. But you can inspect it if you want. And that way you could create a sketch and just outline it. But outlining the teeth that's just could be kind of a bit of work so another thing you can do is let's turn off that you go here to body now if you right click on it and you go down here to mesh to vwrap and you hit create new body over here just hit ok then it's going to create a body that you can actually work with and do stuff but let's get rid of this one Um, but now, one thing I've noticed, don't know if this will always be the case, but when I measure the size of this, it says 220, but the original STL file is supposed to be 22, not 220. So, to figure that out, I just went to, um... Wolfram Alpha and typed it in. And then it gave me the equation 1 over 10, which is 0.1. So I'm just going to, uh, I guess I can close that. Modify, scale, uh, let's change this to 0.1. Okay, and now I have the properly sized object. So let's go back to sketch. Um, and now it's not centered, but I want 22. Oh, that's way too large. No, I wanted 8. There we go. And now mm, that's not even, but let's go there for now. Let's stop sketch. And there we go. I now have the proper sized hole in the right sized gear. And the belt can go over that. So there we go. That's how you import STLs or OBJs to work with them in Fusion 360. Thanks for watching.